Welcome to EastEnders 25, The Exhibition. Thank you for joining me. I'm Charlie G. Hawkins, and I'm here today to take you on a quick whirlwind around some of the props that have donned the EastEnders set over the last 25 years. So let's go. Right, so the first stop I want you to do is to come with me. It's one of the most famous extras over the last 25 years. It's Winston's stall. Now, you would have definitely seen this stall in the market at some point if you're watching EastEnders. <laughs> Moving on to some of the most famous costumes that have gone on in big events and functions for EastEnders over the last 25 years. The first costume we've got is Saeed and Amira's wedding outfit for the big Asian wedding that hit the screen this year, New Year's Day, massive wedding, massive stuff still going on. Look at his Amira's dress, powerful. Come to the queen of the show, Peggy. She got to choose one of three outfits for a wedding with Archie. She plucked for this one. Minty and Heather. Minty, I don't know what he was thinking about on the wedding day. I don't know what this hat's about. The lovely Lacey, who plays Stacy. This was a wedding day outfit to Bradley. Lovely white dress, but the white normally prevails innocence. This one wasn't. This tells it all. Jane Bill, look at look at the difference in the wedding costumes. This is dirty. We all know the mud storyline shared with Ian when she, you know, she was crying, she didn't want to marry him. Ian Bill, tightest man in the world, couldn't fork out for a nice dress. This is what you get when you marry Ian Bill. Let's move on. Hopefully we'll get something about. Now we go to Roxy. As you can tell, Roxy's a bit fiery, she's a bit feisty, she's a bit, she's a bit sexual, you know, she, she likes her men, as you can tell by the dress. It's a bit short. Yeah, get a nice zoom down on that. Now last but not least is Bianca's outfit to Ricky. But as we all know, she'll be done in a new outfit soon, as they're gonna be getting married as Ricky popped the question to Bianca on New Year's Eve. So will she be getting a better one than this one that's laid out? Now we get to something that was a very funny storyline for EastEnders, very funny for me, Dot Branding's driving licence. It's all there, all in full, the photo part and the counterpart. Dot actually passed her test. We've got the two jackets worn by the famous Mitchell brothers, Grant and Phil. I mean, and if you know EastEnders, you all know the Mitchells, you all know Grant and Phil, and they're the famous duo, they're, they're the brothers. So look, here we got Grant's jacket when he come back. And this one is Phil's for when they went on many of their dodgy, you know, deals and meetings with a few of their famous enemies. But I'm being lucky enough to try on one, so let's grab this one. Oh, be careful. I don't think it's gonna fit. I can see myself as a Mitchell. Hello, Ma. I think it just needs to uh, be a bit tailored, but I could pass off for a younger, better looking Mitchell brother. Right, now come and have a look at this. One of the props that I've been waiting for, and I'm sure you have, still being used in EastEnders today, Arthur's Bench. Now, this has been the focal point for many a scene when all them characters are having a hard time, a bit of an emotional day, all the stress, they come in, they talk it through, and their problems sort of go. Arthur's plaque, and here's the bench. Now, we come to a really interesting part that's sort of been a bit of a fashion headline for EastEnders and women characters over the last 25 years. It's the crown jewels of EastEnders, Pat's earrings. These are the five that she wears most. You've got the famous blue ones. I mean, I always see Pat in them. So you get to come down and have a look at these mad and extravagant earrings. Motion sensors, though, so don't touch, because the, the old place will go off. Now we come to part of the Queen Vic, which is the most famous thing in EastEnders. It's the most famous set, it's where everything happens with all the characters, love's being declared, fights are happening, screaming matches, rads, everything goes on. They go home, they want to de-stress, they want a little drink, and things start to happen in the Vic. As you can see, Ronnie and Roxy, they're working there at the minute, well, Roxy owns it. These are all the drink selections. We've got the famous Queen Victoria, don't we love her? This is her bust, and we know what happens when people do things that they shouldn't do. Archie, game over, but who killed him? It's the biggest who done it in the EastEnders 25 years. And Vicky here, she plays a big role. Anyway, thank you for joining me on the tour. Let's all have a drink to celebrate EastEnders 25 years. Right. Row the glasses. Come on, I only want a little drink. 
terrible.